Welcome back everyone to another Bloodline video with your boy Steven Ryan. Back at it with another one today. We are going to be talking about 2023 Bowman Baseball. Yeah. Set is coming out. It is slated to come out. Uh, I forgot. April, because it was supposed to be like this week, but I think they pushed it back a little bit. April 26th. So that is going to be... In the month. Yeah, two weeks from today. Or two weeks from... Wednesday. Yep. So we're two hopefully. weeks. Two hopefully. weeks. Yeah. Hopefully, we're two weeks out until we get Bowman baseball. The entire base set is going to be a hundred cards consisting of the top stars and rookies, as well as 150 Bowman prospect cards. So I think the chase is going to be the Adley Rushman rookie card again, and then the Drew Jones first Bowman Chrome. I think he was a. Um, number I think he was the second overall pick in last year's draft so he's going to be the it, at least the top chase as of right now we might have another Cleo Watson situation where well, he was the chase Cleo was the chase the last start year start off chase yeah and he, he kind of fell off and I think Ellie De La, uh, Cruz became the chase um, after his lack after uh, Khalil's lackluster season yeah but uh, hob it's going to have the hobby and the jumbo boxes. Hobby right now are pre-selling for two hundred and seventy-five dollars on Steel City, and the jumbo for five hundred dollars. To kind of give an idea, I know I'm skipping around and I'm going out of the order that I said we were going to. <laughs> uh, just to give a box breakdown, the hobby boxes will have one auto. The jumbo boxes will have three autographs. So there, there's where you see the little bit of a price difference. Now back to little presentation from steel city not that they sponsor us hey hey <laughs> the jerk so there is a handful of different parallels you can get in the paper set it looks like a good let's see three six nine twelve fifteen or so with one or two with the black and the orange border being hobby exclusive and then purple and pink border you'll be able to find in retail i thought pink was available but it might have been only in chrome last year yeah so that's where you're going to find the 100 base set of current stars and rookies and then the 100 prospects in the paper version see i thought, I thought green borders were the green borders from 299 were always retail because you don't you know, i don't see them on the set but maybe those are just chrome i think when it comes to chrome so the green glass refractor is to 99 oh, okay um which might come in both hobby and uh retail but it's the green uh one or the other the, types of the green shimmer shimmers. the green the regular green and the green shimmer come mm. are usually retail exclusive yeah but i really like I like the design yeah sound this here looks nice it's a little bit different from the um i don't know so i like the, the paper. earlier set yeah. but i mean i like the paper but i don't know how i feel about the chrome mm -hmm. i don't know that's a weird I don't know. Maybe I'll need to see it in person to get an idea of uh, what it'll look like. So there's going to be Prospector Special Variations number to 50. That's going to be a hobby exclusive. I counted this earlier. It is like 24 or 25 different parallels of Prospects. Chrome parallels. Yeah, of the Chrome parallels. Anywhere from one in every 24 to, or 12 packs all the way down to 101s. Several different 101s between the Super Fractor and the printing plate. Lunar Glow. So yeah, Lunar Glow, Glow, Fuchsia, Yellows, and I think the thing is there's two roses, two oranges, there's a regular gold, there's a gold mm -hmm. shimmer, yellow lunar, yellow refractor, you know, so that's kind of yeah. kind of why we've seen that. Let's see, you got some insert cards, you got the Scout 100s, what they have every year, there's several Rangers in it this year, look forward to trying to get those. You can get them in orange, which is going to be the hobby exclusive. You can find them anywhere from numbered to 150 to 101s, and that kind of is across the board with all of the inserts. Yeah, Modern Prospects, Rookie of the Years. He's the chase of last year's. I got mm -hmm. several last years, maybe I'll rip them. But... More insert cards. You got sights on September. Again, same number of parallels, five different parallels, five or six different parallels, where you can get anywhere from number to 150 to 101s. Um, it's a nice little card. I don't know. It's pile lights. I feel like there'd be more to it, but I like the simplicity. Yeah. Doesn't even have the name. Yeah. Nice looking card. Mm-hmm. 
Again, autographs are going to be numbered anywhere. You can get a Fractures number to four ninety nine, dollars all the way down to the printing plate of one of ones. Drew Jones, I think, is going to be the auto to get. Hopefully, when we open some, I don't know if we'll do a full retail or full hobby box, but definitely open some retail. Yep. I like Bowman. I like ripping Bowman, seeing all the prospects, getting to know everybody. You could also get Chrome Rookies. This is where you want to find an Alley Rushman in one of these numbered parallels of a Chrome Rookie. That would be sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I like it because it's always fun because it's like, okay, maybe at the moment you when you open it, yep. it wasn't you you didn't pull anybody special, but then two years later down the line it's yeah. like, Oh, wait, I think I may have that card. <laughs> yeah, like twenty twenty Bowman's like uh like Austin Riley was the guy to go after and he hasn't been doing so great in the minors, so I think the top card in that set's now Blaze Jordan. I think yeah. numbers wise, Blaze Jordan is is performing better, but I think price wise they're more comparable where Austin, uh, yeah. Austin Riley, uh, Austin, what is he? Austin. Oh, 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 um, I'm blanking. Austin Martin. Austin no. Martin, yeah, that was him. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> All right. And it, back to where we were, mm -hmm. uh, Bowman and Victor autographs. You got Bo Modern Prospect autos, number to 99, get them all the way down to five. I'm looking forward to this nice. I think it'll look nice in Chrome. I don't. I don't like it looking at it on my computer. So orange is exclusive. They added two new ones: the green grass and, and the, the blue. Lunar. Yeah, we've been seeing that across. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. We got more autos. You got insert autos. So the Scouts 100 auto sites on September Rookie of the Year favorites. Again, orange is uh, uh, hobby exclusive. Again, ultimate autograph card book. I wonder what that looks like. All American autographs. And then it, what is new for this year, Ryan was telling me about this earlier, mm -hmm. Bowman Pearl Packs, where you can get, I think it's one of these packs is in, it's in one in every 10 cases, yep. and there are four card Pearl Packs that will randomly be inserted randomly in hobby boxes, and it will include this beautiful, to some, Pearl Refractor Parallels from Chrome Prospects. So what... From my understanding of this, one of the packs in one of these boxes in every 10 cases is just going to be a pearl pack. Yep. So all That's four cards, all four cards will be uh, will be these pearl parallels. Yeah. And that's where you, hopefully you will get a Drew Jones. But they're yep. not numbered. I was noticing that. Um, not numbered, but super super short print. Um. But I think it'll be cool. I think. I know the photo makes it look like a negative. Now, I don't necessarily think it will look like a negative. I think it will look um, yeah, this like Yeah, looks like purple, like a light blue. Yeah. I think it will have that pearl um, design like to, it. to it. Like the shine of it where it's almost like, when you look at it, it's almost pink-ish. It's pink, white type of shine where you're shining the light. It's going to reflect that type of way. That's what I think. But it'll be, it'll be interesting. It'll be, uh, it'll be super super cool to see him uh, in person or to see him on instagram whenever somebody opens them because i don't think we're that lucky so, so i wonder <laughs> so here here would be my concern with it are they going to be labeled or is it just going to be a regular because here's what i'm thinking if you know like hobby shops will break a box open and they'll pack them out so they'll sell individual packs yeah is it going to be labeled or are you just going to be are they going to be in the same packaging but you'll just open one up, the first one will be Pearl, and you'll know it's a Pearl pack. I mean, I would hope that it would be... Because um, I would hope they're, they're in not... In the same, uh, same yeah. type of packaging, but they're just like... Yeah. They oh. just are in the same... They look the exact same as when they're packed. Not yeah, in yeah. a different type of pack. Because I, if I remember right, I know... I know... I mean, maybe for Jumbo. I know Jumbo is different. I thought... Well, it's definitely well, it's definitely going to be obvious if there are only four cards. Yeah, in that, the pack. and that's where I was going here. There's only ten cards per pack in a hobby. Mm -hmm. Jumbo has thirty-two cards per pack. Hmm. So I'm just curious to see because you're obviously going to be able to feel it if you're you know, sifting through the packs like some some people do, unfortunately. Yeah. And you know, you might be able to feel your way and be like, "Oh, this is a thin pack, so let me go ahead and grab it." Mm -hmm. But so that's that's one of my concerns with it. Even if the packaging and the presentation looks the same as a normal pack, it's gonna be obvious that it's thinner. Yeah, it will be. I mean, it'll, we'll have to see. Maybe they'll they'll add the fakey fakes like they normally do, or filler Maybe. cards, but to make it look like the like same. Like one but... thick 
thick filler card. Yeah. That would make sense. But I don't know. I'm I just mean, curious. I would hope, or, I would hope so. But. Or maybe what it is. Um, because that would suck. Because you know, like you said, hobby hobby shops would definitely just if they packed it out and they saw the pack that was super thin, they would definitely just take it for themselves. But yeah, now what I was trying to see is is it only going to be in regular hobby boxes? Because that's the only um, it's the only place it's appearing appearing in the presentation. Yeah. So it might only be in the hobby box versus. Mm -hmm the jumbos and the retail mm -hmm. and i could also see them doing is um like four cards of the pearls and then six other cards that way yeah it doesn't throw off the thickness i could see that happening mm -hmm. but yeah that's just something to think about because i don't see them in the presentation when you look at the jumbo hobby or um, I was just down in retail. Oh, retail, yeah. Yeah, and we can kind of go over the retail too, real, really quick. Real quick. Because um, you do have retail exclusives. Here's the Which green border the and the green oh, powder, yeah. or pattern that you were talking about, uh, mm. refractor and the shimmers. So that's that's not changing. The only new thing is the modern prospect, um, which I think is a new insert for this year, anyways, along with the sights on September and the Bowman spotlights. So, gotcha. And then looks like blaster box 12 cards per pack six packs per box so you can expect these to come out uh that's may 12th so i don't think hobby was april 26th yep, yep. so retail at least according to steel city is going to come out about two weeks after gotcha so sounds about right yeah typically well, takes some time. panini usually comes out delayed but mm -hmm. tops and and Bowman are usually on top of it, where retail will come out the same week as, yeah. as Hobby. But that's we'll see, we'll see if that's the case. Maybe it just takes Steel City to, some time to get retail, and we'll actually see it on Target and Walmart. Yeah, but we'll see. Well, let us know what you think of Bowman. Who are you going to be chasing? Are you going to be picking any up when it comes out in late April and retail in May? So let us know down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. There's a giveaway coming in our next video, so you're not going to want to miss it. Yep. Till next time, y'all. We'll, we'll catch, catch you later. later.